Hello there children once again. Today's topic is biomagnification or bioamplification also known as biological magnification. Now I'll not give you the definition of course Google God will give you the definition. Now I'll explain it to you with an example. Uh, let me take an example of let's say heavy metals, something that is toxic to the body like cadmium, mercury, arsenic, all these are heavy metals. Now suppose they enter into an ecological system, let's say a very small pond ecosystem. Now what happens is it gets into the water. So the concentration of these toxin substances in water increases. Now it is taken up by the producers with this algae found in the pond. Now the algae are eaten away by the herbivorous fish so the concentration again increases a little bit. It is measured in parts per million also known as ppm. It's very small but its effects are tremendous. So where was I? Yeah. The herbivorous fish. Now that fish is eaten by a carnivorous fish. So again the concentration of that toxic substance increases in the carnivorous fish and finally let's say we have an eagle or a hawk which is preying upon this fish. So the eagle becomes a top level consumer so there would be maximum concentration of this toxic substance in the eagle which is top level consumer. Now at lower trophic levels these toxic substances will not show any dramatic side effects within the animal but as you move to the successive higher trophic levels what happens is the concentration poses a kind of a danger to the metabolic processes and the, meta, the biochemical pathways of these organisms. We don't know the long term effects of these heavy metals or toxic substances in the body but they could even be more catastrophic. Now. I'll explain it with an example, a local example. If you ask your parents the area in the Sajibar which had even a road passing through it, that area was loaded with vultures once upon a time. I'm talking about way back in the 19, early 1990s. Now due to the use of diclofenac which is a kind of a painkiller among cattle which was rampant during those days was used. Now this diclofenac accumulated in the system that is in the cattle. Now once the cattle died, since the cattle was already sick, it was given diclofenac and in the process of the cattle died, it was left over in the open which was of course fed by the vultures, they are the scavengers, they are the cleaners of the ecosystem. Now initially the vultures did not have any problem but a proper study was conducted and the effect that this particular chemical or a toxic substance had in the vultures was that their eggshells were brittle. So before the five days or six days when the eggs were supposed to be hatched, the eggshells cracked. Over a period of five to seven to eight years slowly the dwindling population of the vultures finally vanished. So today we do not have the burgeoning population of vultures which our city, especially this area in Sajibag, once the vultures thrived. So biomagnification is nothing but the accumulation of these toxic substances into successively high trophic levels till it becomes life threatening in the top level predator. And we human beings might also end up as a top level predator. So it might affect our lives as well. Thank you.